After you install the WP eCommerce plugin, you'll have a new admin panel called Store under Comments on the Administration panel. Clicking on this will reveal seven subpanels for the setup and general operation of the store. The first subpanel is Sales. This subpanel has the current Get Shop news and an overview of the store activity for the current month and the purchases from the store. The next subpanel is Products. It is in this panel where you'll add and edit your products for the store. The left column is a display of the products you've added, and the right column is for adding new products and editing current products. The next subpanel is for Categories. This is where you'll organize and group your products to help customers find what they're looking for. You can group by category or brand, or both category and brand. The next subpanel is Variations. This subpanel is for options that are needed for ordering a product. For instance, a shirt may come in small, medium, and large. This is where you'll make these options available for a customer. The Marketing subpanel is for coupon creation, cross-selling, and your RSS feeds to keep customers informed of your products for sale. The Settings subpanel is where you'll be doing most of the initial setup for the store and where you can make changes that affect the appearance of your store. It is in this subpanel that you set your tax and currency settings, how you present your store to your customer, how you communicate with the customer after the sale, how you set up your shipping options and shipping rates, what payments you will accept, and your checkout options for a sale. This subpanel also has an import option for downloading products from a CVS file. And finally, the Upgrade subpanel. This is where you can upgrade your WP eCommerce plugin for additional features as you need them. Initially, you will spend most of your setup time in the Settings subpanel. And when you have that set, you will spend most of your time in the Product subpanel. The other subpanels will be there to change things as you expand your store.